Hi, and welcome to Super Chat. We're so happy to have you here. My name is Friederike, and in this video, I'm going to guide you through the setup. So we will go step by step through everything you need to know to make sure that your account is set up, WhatsApp is connected, and of course, I'm going to give you all the tips and tricks on how to optimize your account. So without further ado, let's go. First of all, we have sent your login details to your email address. So make sure that you have the link that you know how to log into your SuperChat account and how to set your password. If for whatever reason you're unable to find the email, then please reach out to us once more so we can make sure you get your login details. Click on the link in the email, set your password, and then do the login. You can either go on superchat.com, you can use the desktop app, or later on there's a superchat application which you can use to log in. I've already logged into my account and then we're here. This is the heart of superchat. This is your inbox. This is where all the messages will be listed. Before I go into detail with your inbox and all the features, I want to make sure that WhatsApp is connected. So let's go into the settings. In the top right corner, you see a gear icon. You can click on here to access the settings. Now you're in the settings and we can start to connect WhatsApp. For WhatsApp, we have certain requirements. So you can connect either a landline number or a mobile number with us. The most important part is that this number is currently not connected to any WhatsApp service. So if you use it on your WhatsApp business application, for example, then either delete the account or make sure you replace the number. This is easily done in the settings. So we need to start with a clean sleeve. That's very important and also you will need your Facebook login details. So make sure you know your Facebook login. We will need the login to your private Facebook and that private Facebook account has the full admin rights to the business manager. If you're unsure if you have the full admin rights, just go into the Facebook business manager and check there. And if you're unsure if you even have a business manager, no worries. Within the following steps, we also enable you to just create a new one very easily done and then your whatsapp account is listed in that specific business manager so you can always access those settings let's get started let's go on login with facebook to start the setup i have already um, logged myself into my private facebook account we're gonna get started then it should already list the correct business manager. If not, just click into the drop down menu and make sure to select the correct one. If there are any details here missing, then also make sure to fill in all the missing details. Make sure there is an address and the address should match the address that is also listed on the imprint on your guys' website. If nothing is listed here, then that's your moment to just create a new account and fill in all the missing details. Let's go for next. And now you can create a new WhatsApp account. In this case, make sure that both drop down menus are empty or in this case, it just says create a new one. If for whatever reason, there's already a name or number listed, that means that you probably have already a different WhatsApp account. So maybe you just want to quickly check your settings in Meta as well, but we are gonna set up a new number a new account so have those settings here and then the next step is already to fill in the name first one is just for you guys internally so i'm just gonna call the super chat in this example and then there is the display name and of course this is essential because this is how you will be visible to your customers then also choose a category that works best for you click on show more options if you'd like to adjust the time zone the business description and the profile picture or further details can be done in Super Chat. Check the website and then click on next. If you encounter any issues during the setup, then please feel free to reach out to our team. In the top right corner, there's a question mark. You can click on there and then click on contact support. This is where you can find the live chat team. Our colleagues sit there, they're happy to help. They will seek the issue with you, guide you through the steps to make sure that you can quickly set up the number. 
The next step is now to fill in your telephone number. This is the number that you will set up on the WhatsApp Business API. Before you do anything here, please ensure that there is no IVR system or any kind of menu active. Because once you click on next, it will trigger the verification call and then you must be able to receive the call because a computer voice will tell you a code and you only have a certain time frame in which you can catch the call. So make sure that everyone is informed. Fill in the telephone number and click on phone call because at the moment we cannot support SMS. And then once you're ready, just click on next and catch that six digit code. Your verification code is 8425199. Your verification code is 8. So I was able to get the call and now I click on continue and just give the system a moment to synchronize and set up the account. So the good news is your account is now live and connected. You click on finish and then you wait a moment. Confetti, this is a great sign, your number is live. If you want to test it, then go and get your phone, open up your camera, scan the QR code and send that first test message. No worries, you can always access this QR code also later. You can always have a chat link and a QR code, which of course makes sense because you have some customers on a mobile device and some on their desktop. So you want to make sure that they know that you have this WhatsApp service, that you can be reached on WhatsApp and you invite them into using this communication channel. If you now close this little window, you can see here in the top left corner that um, the message was received successfully. So if you click here, then you will be able to see the message. You will see the name of the customer, the customer care window, and also all further details such as assigning the conversation, labels. Labels could be something like VIP customer, open payments, open call, meeting must be scheduled, anything that is very important for the team to know whenever they click on the conversation. Now, of course, there is a lot to discover in your SuperChat account, and I will only be able to give you a little intro into the surface. If you want to learn more and if you want to get more tips and tricks from our side, then just click into the top right corner on the question mark and then on the help center. In the help center, you can find all essential articles. So you will see some details regarding the budget inbox, templates, automations, also of course regarding our AI chatbot and the integrations. So just click through it, see what might be interesting. Now coming back to the bundled inbox, you can see the test message was successful. I can also respond from my end. Of course, your customer doesn't know you use SuperChat. For them, it's just a normal WhatsApp conversation. Now we're going to go back into the settings. If you click into the settings, then you can click on the WhatsApp icon and access all further settings. So of course, you want to add a profile picture, change the internal name, add the description and also maybe some contact details. This is um, essential because this is the information that will also be displayed to your customer. As you can see here in the top right corner, you can also always access the QR code. In general, if you'd like to connect further communication channels such as Instagram, Facebook, WhatsApp, further numbers, anything like that, just click on here and then you can start the setup. Also make sure to check out the automatic messages. There's a welcome message and an out of office message, which is great because you want to make sure your customer feels seen from the second they text you. So it's nice to get an automatic reply, something like, hey, thank you for reaching out. The team will be with you shortly. Next step is on the left side. You can click on manage team and then you can invite further people into using SuperChat with you. So who's going to be the ones replying to the incoming messages? Who will do the marketing campaigns? Who's maybe responsible for creating further automations? Just click on invite team member, then fill in that email address, their name and assign a role. Of course, the admin can see all details or payment details is there to provide a certain framework, while the other both have a rather restricted view. If you have further questions on that, check out the help center. Now, the next step that I highly recommend doing is templates. On the left side, it says templates and then WhatsApp templates. Click on new template and either create a new one, check out our gallery 
Or also, you might want to ask AI for advice to create a template for you. In our case, we will create our own template. So click on the first option and then you can create your own. Templates are great to save time. Anything that you guys copy paste, anything that is standardized, anything that is maybe also frequently asked from your customers, you want to make sure you have a good collection of templates on hand so you can always just send it out. Also, when you plan on doing anything marketing related, you want to send out newsletters, you first draft that message as a template and then later on select all the receivers. I'm not going to go into detail here, but I think it explains itself quite well. Make sure to check out the variables, so this little box with arrows on it. Most importantly, you want to check out maybe the first name to make sure that you address someone by their uh, first name, so it's always a bit personalized. Also, very important is the wildcard element. You could also call it a placeholder, which enables you to have a good mix and balance between standardized and individualized phrases. And my little tip, if you scroll down, buttons. People are very interested in using buttons. So if you want a quick reply from your customer, yes, no, I confirm, I would like to reschedule, tell me more, inspire me, use the quick replies or also use the call to action buttons to link your calendar system or also your website. Once you then have created the template, you can either save it as a draft or submit for review. This might take up to 24 hours, but honestly, it's just a couple of minutes then your template is approved and ready to be used. The last thing that I want to show in this short video is the opt-in method, because this is essential if you do anything marketing related. In the black header it says campaigns, and then you click on opt-in method. Here in campaigns is where you create the campaign. So you first click on uh, the template, then you select the context, and then you either schedule the campaign or you just send it out immediately. However, make sure you have the opt-in from your customers so they do expect that newsletter from you. On the left side, it says opt-in methods and then new method. Meta guidelines say that you must have the opt-in from a customer if you want to send out anything marketing related. So you can create your own opt-in method in here. You just give it a name. Let's call this one a test. You give it a keyword, should be something short and simple. I'm going to call it subscribe. You click on continue. There's always a way to opt out. And then there's a specific QR code. And this is how you now start building up that subscriber base. Put this QR code in your email signature on your website, publish it via social media, print it out, use both the chat link and the QR code. Also try it out because then the customer will be directed into the conversation with you and you already create that first touch point. Again, if you need further inspiration for that, I invite you to watch our videos. Now, if you have further questions, then please do not hesitate and just reach out to us. You can either send us an email or just click into the top right corner, click on the um, help center to get all the videos or on contact support to reach out to the team. You might also want to check out our Facebook community for all the exclusive details and infos and releases that we do on Super Chat. And now have fun.